I'm just jumping on. I'm gonna give a live tour of my home. If this is your first time visiting me, uh, my name is Jen, and I'm a blogger at Noting Grace, where I help you make, create, and decorate your home. And um, so we just moved from Tennessee to Birmingham, and a lot of people have been wanting a home tour. So I am so glad that you're here. We're gonna walk around the house. Be sure to ask me any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, we'll have a puppy in the way who will make sure to try to get into the video as much as possible. And uh, my husband's working down in the studio, so I'm sure he will make a cameo. Uh, a point uh, appearance as well. So without further ado, let me flip the camera around. Okay, this is our neighborhood. Pretty quiet little neighborhood uh, where Ty is able to ride his bike. And um, and yes, that's, that's, a, that's another story for another day. <laughs> oh, hi guys, I'm so glad y'all are here. Okay, so we're gonna open the door. And when you, hi Ollie, we got a tour guide here today. So when you open the door, you have this short little entryway. I'm playing around with my silver, trying to figure out what exactly I'm going to put where. Um, when you come into the room, I'm going to have for the very first time my office. This is gonna be my office. We have a desk that we have to get um, for me to work in. Right now it's, Ollie's little den, but Trent keeps calling this the Jen Den. So um, we've got a little seating area here. I put my plantation desk in the corner, and then my I did not have a place really to put my um, hall tree, but I, I had to have it in my home, so it's kind of sort of close to the door, but not necessarily in the hall. Oh, Ollie wants to play with you guys, hi. So my goal for this room, and look at that sweet little sign my boy made me, isn't that cute? Um, my goal for this room is I want to try to get some French doors so that I can close that off. Um, when you go across the other side, this is our dining room, and the one thing I love, the entire house has plantation shutters, um, but it does make it a little bit darker than what I am typically used to. So that is something I'm trying to contemplate. What do you think? Um, you know, should I keep these or, or what? I don't know. Um, we are gonna replace the chandelier. It's, it's a cheap knockoff. I know it looks really pretty in this picture, but um, yeah, okay, uh, it won't fit where the ladder is. No, it won't. Um, the hall tree extends out about six inches. So I've got clumsy boys, and <laughs> I just was afraid it was a trip hazard. Um, Oh, good. Keep the shutters. Keep the shutters. Okay, we'll do. So um, this is still a work in progress. Um, we don't have artwork yet, curtains, any of that stuff. I might do some fun things um, in this room just yet. So I'll back back up so you can see kind of how the flow goes. So back in the entryway, as you walk in, you've got a nice little hall closet entrance down to our basement that um, we're going to keep. I love the chandelier. Are you going to sell it? Yes, I think we might sell it. Um, but like I said, it's not real glass, it's plastic. So anyway, when you take a right, this goes straight into our master bedroom. So it's not as big as our last master bedroom. Sorry for the shadows. Doing my best to amend those. But we have our big beautiful bed on this wall. As you can tell, our nightstands don't fit, so I'm on the hunt for two nightstands, smaller, taller, something that will work. I don't know if I'm gonna either put a light on the wall or use lamps. And we have a nice little cozy reading spot on this side. Now, 
the plans for this this will be okay these are let's see I'm sorry, I'm reading the questions, y'all. What color did you paint the walls and trim? The walls were already painted this color. It is Revere Pewter, which is a very, very popular color. Um, it's in the majority of the house. There's another color that's kind of a beigey color. I'm not sure what that is, um, but that's where um, that color mo is going to be mostly throughout the house. The trim is just typical uh, white. Okay, so our plan is, we have a teeny, teeny, tiny master bathroom, and then there is a great big giant danger, <laughs> and I'll show you here. Okay, so when you come in, the, the sink is really, really low. I'll even show you in the mirror. It's, wow, trying to get the light to work. It is, it comes up to my, the top of my thighs. So it is really, really low. Um, another issue, is in here this is the shower in the tub in the shower is electricity um so not safe and that is so not gonna stay now when you do have the shower curtain closed it does uh provide a little bit of safety but that is a big issue um and then we have this ginormous closet and our clothes are still in the suitcase just slowly unpacking as we can so the plan is we're going to knock out this entire wall we're going to move the commode over just a foot to allow more room because right now as it is you run into it when you get out of the tub um, and then this will be a shower stall and with this door closed we are going to open up this wall and have a separate entrance to the master closet. Then I want to put uh, two barn doors that will open and close, paint them black, and have it be, you know, a little bit dramatic there. So when you walk out of the master bedroom and you go to the right, here is our kitchen. And I'm trying my best to man monitor the light here. So, the kitchen is gonna be a redo. I'm gonna keep it a galley kitchen. I'm gonna replace the countertops, but trying to find affordable countertops has been a struggle. So if anyone has used the Ikea laminate countertops, I'd love to have their quartz, but we don't have an Ikea near us and they don't ship. So let me know. If anyone has any experience with the Ikea laminate tops, they just are so affordable. I love the tumbled tile. Um, it doesn't look too dated. So my plan is to pull in the lighter color and we're gonna paint the uppers, the lighter color that's in the grout and in the tile. And then we're gonna pick up a color of the tan and do the lowers and one of those muted tans. So it will be pretty monochromatic, and then I'd love for the countertops to be white. Um, the sink is in really poor shape. I don't know if you could tell. The whole bottom is just completely scratched. Um, the entire glazing has left the sink, so that has to go. Here's an interesting thing that was done. They, instead of having an eat-in kitchen, they opted to put a kitchen island with a neat little area where you can eat around. So isn't that neat? And um, what we're gonna do when we replace the counters, those, the, the counters in here will be white, but I think I'm gonna go with butcher block to make it more of a tabletop kind of eat-in area. And we're gonna keep that chandelier and all of these Retro uh, light switch plate covers are definitely going. <laughs> so um, here is one of my favorite little spots. This is a desk area, and I'm gonna turn this into kind of a coffee bar butler's pantry. Um, so I've got some plans for that. I'm gonna Ardex, do that feathered finish to have it look like a concrete top. Um, then on the other side is our pantry. So we're gonna do something fun to make it not so visible that right when you know you come in, you see all of your stuff. 
Um, all right. Hey, Ollie. There's Ollie. Okay. So we've got a little pass through that opens up into our living room area. Um, we just had this little TV um, ordered so that way I can have kind of a little quiet space. There is a fireplace here and it has a gas stub out. So what I'm gonna do, we're, they used it as a lighter and used wood burning. I'd love to get gas logs. Um, so we have to find out if that's going to be an expensive um, fix or because the gas light, lighter is already there, it might just be as simple as hooking up the gas logs. So when you, they opened up this wall and when you come in through here, they made this into a sunroom. And this is where Ollie sits and looks out all the time. So you can see I've got some blinds down and some blinds open. I'm not sure if I'm keeping the blinds. Reason being, all of our backyard is deciduous trees and there is a house there and a house here. So come winter time, I don't know how exposed we're gonna be. So that's a concern. I am thinking of maybe replacing the blinds with woven shades. So um, what do you think of that? Um, I love how light and bright and open it is. I love the black windows. Um, and here I've got a nice little quiet reading nook. And as you can tell, it's just immediately more quiet in this room. Still haven't found a home for those, but it's a nice little area separate from the kitchen that um, you can step aside and it frames in on the other side. So I did put a mirror over the couch um, in either doorway, it reflects the light. So that way it, it kind of makes this room brighter. Since there are no windows in this room, um, this living room has a tendency to get pretty dark. So the mirror helps reflect that light. Um, when you come down the hallway here, this is the side of the house where the boys are. Okay, question. I like the brick. Do you love it? I do love the brick. Um, <clears throat> I am, there it is. Um, this is the Revere Pewter. In the sunroom, that brick that they painted in there is the beigey color. So I'm probably going to paint it. I'm going to see about lime washing it. I work, I've worked with Roma Bio many times and um, lime wash doesn't go over painted brick. You have to prime it first. So there's a lot of brick that's painted. I don't know if I'm <laughs> ready to take that. Can you tell I'm playing with what decor goes where? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, ooh, whitewash. Yeah, that might be an interesting thing as well. I'm definitely gonna paint the mantle. They painted it the same color as the brick. I'm definitely gonna paint that white to allow it to pop. Okay, so back over here to the boys' room. You've got a great big giant hall closet. For the first time ever, we actually have central vac, and this is where the hose lives, and oh my goodness, I want central vac in every house that I live in <laughs> from here on out. It's so awesome to have. Um, so this is the Stinky Boys bathroom, um, which is already kind of in, in pretty good shape. I, we probably won't do very much to any of that. Um, this is our oldest boy's room, Tryon. And we, he did not want to keep all of the industrial stuff that we did in his last room makeover, so we just kept a little bit of it. Um, almost knocked over his keyboard. That's not good. But as you can see, we just kept a few little elements here or there. And this is that awesome wood box from Liberty Tree Creations. Um, awesome, awesome company. Um, Y'all need to definitely check them out. Across the hall is the Rugrats room, my youngest, Ty. We haven't hung any um, artwork in here yet but it's got a nice sizable room, really bright hardwoods all throughout the upstairs, which we absolutely love, trying to figure out where we're gonna place artwork and stuff. The boys are 
absolutely loving the move. They've got a neighborhood. They love the kids in the neighborhood. Um, school has been very um, welcoming to them as well. So it's been a very, very nice transition and we are thanking God for that. Um, okay, so now for the downstairs. Are you ready for this? I'm so excited to show you all my favorite part of the house. And I don't know if you would know what it is. Okay, as soon as you come down the steps, this is our living room area, our den. Um, but let me come into this room first to show you what is here. This is called the tavern. This is going to be my husband's little room. He has visions of putting in maybe a pinball machine here, putting a mini fridge, maybe a microwave. Um, it's definitely a little man cave down here. So he loves that. Um, there is another full bathroom. This makes three full bathrooms down here. So we're in the midst, that toilet um, is not even very attached, so that's why it looks as if it's about to fall off, because it is. So that's a fix that we're gonna do. Um, this is our workout room. All of the bedrooms have um, full walk-in closets, which is very, very nice. So what, um, that just gives us extra storage. Now beware, this is the Lego room. And this is real life when you have boys with gaming and Legos and mess. Everybody asks, how do you keep a house clean with boys? And I don't. So this is real life. What you see on pictures, you just don't get to see the mess behind. And this is part of the mess that lives behind. Um, but I have the option to close the door and then I don't see it. So hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, so you have a little entrance out here to a back patio. I won't go out on the back patio because it's really, really hot, but it's a nice little covered porch. Um, I'd like to paint um, the banisters white, maybe brighten it up a little bit. We just hung those fun lights today. So on the other side of this room is our recording studio. Now, many of you all don't know, but my husband and I are professional musicians, and we have had a recording studio in every home. So this um, is kind of the first studio that is the most professional that we've had so far. Um, they used it for kind of a TV room. Um, what our plan is, we're going to enclose this wall, which will give us extra space. I kind of don't know what to do here yet. Any suggestions? Um, yeah, bring them on because I, I kind of am stumped. Maybe a game table here or something like that. But we're going to enclose this and put a door for this um, area. Now, what's cool is we have these double doors, which could provide a totally separate entrance for our recording studio. So this is where um, we do the work. We've got a little sound area. Um, the only bad thing, yes, you do have the laundry room in this area, which needs to be kind of worked on, but at least we kind of have a spot. Storage closet here another storage closet there, one drum set, two drum sets, three drum sets. <laughs> Can you tell what instrument my husband plays? Um, another storage closet here. And then this little area is the coolest and my favorite part. And the reason why, so this is where they house all of the uh, heating and air conditioning and water heater. And there's a fun little bench, workbench here with pegboard if I wanted to paint or craft or anything like that. But for the first time, I have a decor storage closet and I love it. I am so excited. 
um, where I can put, as you can tell, I have, I'm still going through everything, but where I can put stuff by season. Obviously, I've got Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, and um, fall is coming out soon. And then, you know, I can um, actually store my stuff. And, you know, I can even hang wreaths that I'm not using. And, I mean, I'm just so, this is my favorite little part and Trent finds me in this room many, many times. So, um, back into the recording studio. Um, another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in double doors. Hey, Cindy, thank you for joining. Um, studios usually have two doors to help um, baffle the sound, so we'll probably put in two doors in this little entrance area. Back into the studio, and then that is basically it. So, Ollie is so glad that you came. And I'm so glad that you joined. Um, we are absolutely loving it here. It's been a little bit of a transition. Um, there's been some drama. I've had some family health issues on my dad's side. So, in the midst of trying to unpack and move, you've had, we've had some concerns with that. And my husband just started a new job teaching music down here, which he loves, and, um, you know, the boys going into school. It's just been a big change, but we're so happy. I just love this house. So very, very, very excited for what's to come. So ask me some questions. I'm about to sign off here, but if you um, still want to um, send me some questions, I will answer them after the live. But that is the long-awaited live video that I had promised, um, oh gosh, how many days ago? <laughs> That's okay, it's real life. Thank you so much for joining us, and I will be um, putting some blog posts up soon, so stay tuned for that. Oh, time to go, my laundry's done. <laughs> All right, have a good one, guys.